Hi, welcome. Today I would like to see how in your Eclipse uh, Java project uh, you can add a J unit uh, test. So let's get started. So basically, let's say I have a program which just prints this information and we want to be able to test some aspects of it. So first thing you want to do is uh, basically go into your package and uh, say file new and uh, be able to select maybe other let's just see what does it give you other in java and it says it can give you a junit test case so let's just start that junit test case uh, we want to be able to run some things before the setup before class and tear down after class so that's why i have added that and the name for this, uh, let me see what, what is the name I want. Uh, I've run this thing before, I will call it test. <coughs> so if you uh, just have this test, it's basically going to run this particular test and uh, when you start and it should say fail not yet implemented. So let me just run this thing and see what it does. So as you can see, it failed and you get an error and uh, that's all good. So let's say if I want to uh, fix this, what do I do? Uh, I have some code that I want to just kind of copy in here and I'll kind of walk you through what it is. Okay, so I have uh, basically uh, uh, fixed some code. So as you can remember, we we had something that would be called before the class. So uh, what I'm doing is essentially I uh, declared a byte array output string. And the reason I'm doing this is because my main program was just printing something to the standard out. So I want to be able to capture the standard output and compare against uh, something to be able to say, okay, this was good or bad and it's working for me. So the way to capture this is essentially you can declare an out content and when you set up before class, you can set system that set out to be the stream and that tear down, you can just set it to null. So uh, here I'm basically uh, calling this function uh, uh, main and uh, that should obviously print something to the standard out. And I'm going to check uh, what the output here is, put it in the string out content to string. And here I'm just checking to see if it is done by doing a substring of 0 to 4. So let's see if this works. So as you can see that uh, once I do this, it works and uh, that's how you can write your test cases. Uh, you can also actually debug this stuff if you want to. And uh, let me uh, just uh, type a quick thing and it says it needs to be going in that perspective. And since I had uh, a breakpoint here, I can look at my string output and you can see it has a value of done with a new line. So this is all good. And this is a simple way to add uh, JUnit test cases to your uh, program. If you want to add uh, test suites, uh, you can, uh, I believe, do something similar. Basically, go into your new other and uh, add a J unit test suite, but I'm not going to go through that. Uh, thank you for watching this short screencast. If you want to search for this in other videos, uh, you can just go to my website or associate and I'll put this under Java J unit. Thank you and you have a great day.